Are you insane? Are you crazy? Do lally. Are you one roll short of a full agenda? Contest chair, fellow screwballs. They say the definition of insanity is to keep doing the same thing over and over, hoping for something to change. But do you know who originally said that? Hmm. You're probably thinking Einstein. But no. He did. What about the founder of Toastmasters, Mr. Ralph C. Smedley? He had so many great quotes, didn't he? But no, it's not him either. Sorry, Ralph. Nobody really knows who said it originally. But it makes sense, doesn't it? Why keep doing something that simply isn't working for you? When I was 11, that's me, I had a huge crush on the girl who lived next door. Her name was Emma. She was 12. That's her. An older woman. Every morning, I'd leave my house at precisely the same time as Emma, and we'd walk to school together. When I say together, I was always about 20 steps behind, and she didn't know I existed. But I did the same thing every day for three years because I had a theory that one day Emma would notice me and she'd call out, hey, aren't you the boy from next door? Let's go for an ice cream. Emma never looked back. Then one day she moved house. Was I insane for doing the same thing every day, hoping for something to change? Uh, yes, of course I was. Yes, yes. But last year, I'm walking my daughter to school one day when I feel my phone vibrate in my pocket. Oh, a friend request from Emma. Hey, aren't you the boy from next door? Always loved playing with dolls. Remember me? You used to follow me to school every day. Are you still stalking people? We chatted for a while. Emma told me she's a full-time carer, but her 20-year-old son, Matthew, who was born with severe disabilities. She explained that she spent the first few years of Matthew's life praying for something big to change. It never did, but Emma doesn't look back. For 20 years, she's relentlessly done the same things for Matthew and she still hopes that one day something will change. What do you think? Is Emma insane? Can I tell you something that Einstein definitely did say? He said, human beings never fail. Not until the moment we give up. But we give up all the time, don't we? We give up on ideas, careers, relationships, people, and on we go to the next thing. But sometimes persistence and perseverance pays off. Because guess what? Last month, I met up with Emma. We brought our children. We went for ice cream. Seeing Emma with Matthew, understanding a little bit more about the lifelong devotion she has for her son. I realized that doing the same thing over and over, hoping for something to change. It's not the definition of insanity. It's the definition of humanity. It's the definition of beauty, spirit, and perseverance. Why keep doing something that simply isn't working for you? Well, you might think that Emma has no choice. But according to the United Nations, there are currently 60 million children out there who've been abandoned by their families. 
60 million children who wish there were 60 million more Emmas. Right now, wars are raging, poverty is soaring. The NHS reports that mental health disorders in our children have risen by 50%. There's no prospect of anything changing for the better anytime soon. So we need more Emmas. We need people who don't care if their persistence in the face of hopelessness makes them seem insane. Can you join the army of Emmas? Can you make a commitment and keep going? even if it starts to feel crazy, even when you know there's no pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Why keep doing something that simply isn't working for you? Emma will tell you why. And I think Einstein would too. Because Albert Einstein, he once had a theory, a theory that light could be bent by gravity. People told him he was insane, crazy, do lally, one atom short of anything that mattered. But he kept on relentlessly trying, hoping that one day something would change. And eventually, everything did. So if this crazy old screwball of a genius was here today, I don't think he'd be advising us to give up, do you? I think he'd implore us to dedicate ourselves to something, to commit to something, and not to stop until we've achieved something. Anything else, surely, would be the definition of insanity. Contest chair.